Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well, uh, especially considering some of the, the weather challenges we're having a, across the globe. Uh, please stay safe and I hope everyone is uh, taking care and doing well and staying cool wherever you are. Today's pin is the Stipula Ventidu 22 Tocofero. Tocofero means iron touch in English from Italian, which also translates to knock on wood, which is a good luck term that we use here in the US. This is a uh, piston filler. It has a 1.89 milliliter capacity. This is the piston knob here. You can see it turns. These come in a fine medium and 1.1 millimeter stub. This is a number, this is a number six box fine. The material is solid PVD, plated stainless steel, and a PVD is a coating method, stands for physical vapor disposition. And these are handmade in Florence, Italy. You see there on the ink window, it says stipula, and that's the number, and Firenze, made in Italy. And on the clip, you have the little leaf. I should say, not the clip, the finial. Um, the clip is stiff. I can't really pull up with my nubs, but it does um, slide nicely in my pin case. There's nothing there really on the funnel. Just that. I'll show you the box that it came in. Stipula. Topo Ferro fountain pen, crystal resin steel, iridium point nib, fine. And it's Topo Ferro fine nib FP stipula. This is the box. Slide it out. You pull this up. And it's nice soft material. And you have Certificate of Authenticity. It's Togo Ferro. This is the clear one. This I actually have another one that I'll talk about. So this is the uh, pamphlet for that one. And you can request a lifetime warranty. You send in your registration information, which is, is good. And it's just how to fill your pen, writing samples, about the converter. And how they how they um, construct their pens and their story. And if you go on the website, they also go into detail on how they how they started, uh, their history, and how they make their pens and their nibs. So that's a good read. If you go into the, the Stipula website if you're interested. So that's the box. It is a weighty pen. I'll let you see. It's 55.7 grams. And this is about a half to three quarters full of ink. And uncapped. Uncapped is 33. So unlike my last video, there's not going to be any ranting about, you know, converters not included. For one, it's a piston fill, but really I love this pen. Um, I think, I don't think I've ever taken it out of my, out of my pen case that I take to work every day. Um, so it's pretty much been with me every day since I, since I got it. It's never been de-inked. I've always had it fully inked. So yeah, I can't say enough good things about it about this pen. It's probably not for everyone, but I have a very positive experience with this. Uh, as far as size comparisons, really quickly, when it's posted, <clears throat> I'm sorry, when it's capped, no, compared to that one, when it's capped, 
It's kind of a short stubby pin when it's capped. Um, when you post it, I think it levels out a little bit more. And it's a, I failed to mention it is a screw. Screw cap. The twist doesn't really post, so I won't even bother with that. So it's about in between. Longer than these two, but shorter than the Lamy All Star. It's longer than the Palette Metropolitan and longer than the Lamy 2000 by just a little bit. See there. So now I am going to show you how it writes and some pros and cons. I usually write with it unposted because of, of the size. I mean the weight, not the size, but the weight. Let me move this over here a little bit. <clears throat> so I need to try part two of this video. Um, my mic failed, so let me try this again. So the pin that we have here is the stipula. Then to do 22 toco ferro. Again, toco ferro means iron touch or knock on wood, which is good luck. And this is the black steel model. The nib is a Bach number six. Stainless steel, and this is a fine. The ink, this is Monte Verde, and it's just a generic black that I have at work on my desk. And this one. The Iron Clear, and this is Iron Clear, and then the nib is the same. The ink is Dime Mine. Aurora, Borealis, this is a nice blue-green or teal ink. <clears throat> so this one uh, was 236 again, Goulet, and this one was one on eight for pen savings. So we get to some of the pros here. Um, so it's a great writer. It's smooth. It's not ultra smooth. It, it doesn't glide, but it is is smooth. It is uh, reliable. No really hard start to stops. I do experience trouble sometimes when my grip changes, but other than that, it's uh, it's reliable. It has a nice ink window. It's a and it's a sizable ink window, as you can see there. Nice big win ink window. Um, it's a good size nib. I tend to prefer larger size nibs. Good size nib. Sturdy construction. Um, I do believe that if you ran over this with a car, 
maybe the, the resin window here wouldn't survive, but I think the rest of the pen would do fine. It's, it's, it's built like a tank. It's handmade. <coughs> oh, beautiful design and construction. It's a unique look. And piston fill. Has a, allows for a good amount of ink. It's 1.89 mils ink capacity there and there. And using the, the piston fill mechanism. And for lefties, this is a, a dry rider. So if you're a side rider, um, it's pretty good for a lefty. And I'll show you here. It's pretty, it's pretty dry. And as far as the cons, I would say the weight is the major one. Um, the grip. can get slippery. It's a fairly, not fairly warm, it's a very warm day here and my hands are a little sweaty and so it's, it's moving around on me a little bit. And one thing I noticed on the cap is there are a few little um, scuffs on it. So it may be prone to scuffs and scratches. I, um, like I said, I've carried this every day in my pin case. So <clears throat> there are a couple little scuffs around here, probably just from rubbing against other pins in my case. So that's one thing you may want to consider. And the piston knob. For me, um, I find it hard to turn. I don't know if it's something that I'm, I'm doing wrong, um, but yeah, it's uh, it can be a little hard to turn there for me. And there is my garden. Let me turn this off. And the biggest thing is that uh, this just may not be not uh, be the pin for uh, those um, with weak or arthritic. It's just over time I've noticed that uh, using this pin for a while my hand does get a little fatigued. I have, you know, I don't have any arthritis issues, but especially with it posted, it can fatigue the hands. And again, someone with arthritis may have a hard time turning this. It may just need some silicone or something. I'm not sure. Um, and also, this does, especially on a day like this, this does warm. It just warm, it gets warm in the hands. So it wants to, you know, slide around a lot. And, you know, when your grip changes, it does want to not write as well. So there's that. But really, <clears throat> these are just, I would say, considerations, not really hard cons. Uh, it just may not be a pin for everyone. But um, I definitely love it. Um, definitely a top five pin for me. Um, I liked it so much that I got this one. Um, I just thought this was a, a good price. Two two thirty six is, you know, it's expensive for a pen for sure, but the quality. I have a lot of uh, more expensive pens that definitely don't feel like this as far as quality. But that's um, the simple event to do. I hope this was helpful and informative. If you're thinking about getting a stipula or if you want to know about more about the quality of stipulas, 
um, I can definitely, um, at least for these two that I have, uh, can vouch for the quality. It's just a matter of, um, is it for your hands? Um, but that's all I have for today. Uh, thanks, as always, for all of the um, useful comments and tips and just for watching my videos. So uh, until next time, everyone take care.